Hi instructors, this is Maddie P from LMI and this is a short video demonstration to introduce you to the new Les Mills Digital Kit Portal. You should have just received an email from your agent telling you that you had digital kits ready to download in the portal. Now what? This video is going to show you how to get the videos downloaded onto your computer or laptop at home and into one of our favorite media players. If you've already got this step accomplished, take a look at our YouTube channel as there's many other video tutorials available to you. So the link to the digital kit portal should be in your the email that you get from your agent. You can use any browser you want to download your digital kit, but we recommend Google Chrome because we find that the downloads are quicker and easier when you use this browser. The website is lesmills.secure dot force dot com forward slash digital as I mentioned this should be in the email that you get from your agent once you get to the home screen we recommend that you bookmark this page so that you can uh, get to it easily later generally there's a star or, uh, in the corner of the screen or you can press control D or command D on a Mac to bookmark the page so you have easy access to it from now on the first time you visit the Digital Kit Portal, you'll want to use the email address that you use with your agent to register for the portal. This should be the email on which you got the email from your agent, so just use the same email that they emailed you on. Click Get My Password, and the system will send you an email with a temporary password. You can see here that it's been less than a minute and already we've gotten the email. This is my temporary password, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it into the password box. Then you'll click Login. The system will ask you to choose a new password. This will be your permanent password as you won't have to register for the portal every, every quarter that you get new kits. Next quarter you'll just use the same email and the password that you've chosen right now to get your new quarter's kits. Because this is the first time we're logging into the portal, it's going to ask us to sign some terms and conditions. So read through the terms and conditions and then click accept. And that's how easy it is to get into the portal. You can see that in my portal account I have Pump and CX Works. In order to download your digital kits, you simply press the button for the type of kit. Notice that for the video there are four separate options for download. Based on your feedback, we've split the video presentation into two parts, the master class and the education content. And within each of these, we're offering two different file sizes. The first is a desktop quality file. This is a higher quality file that will look good on your computer screen or on the TV in your lounge at home. The second is a mobile quality file. This is a much smaller file that looks great when it's used on a tablet or a phone. You can also download the education in these two quality files. This helps speed up the amount of time it takes to download the file, and it also allows you to control how much you put on your mobile devices. So if you want to just put the mobile quality on your mobile device, it will take up only 500 megabytes of space. The music and choreography notes download as a zip file. In order to download, simply press the button. Now depending upon what browser you use, different things will happen. If you're using Chrome, it should automatically start downloading. If you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you may get the option to open or save the file. It's very important that you click save so that the file is downloaded to your home computer or laptop. If you just click open, it will open a duplicate copy of it, but when you close, the file will not be saved. 
So very important that you click Save if you are offered the option. Now I'm going to cancel this because I've already done it, but you'll notice that even the desktop quality file is showing here that it's only going to take about four and five minutes to download, which is great. You can do the same for all of these different file types. Now if something, once you've started the download, you want to be really careful not to shut off your computer or close the lid on your laptop or disconnect from the internet because if you interrupt the download, then you won't have the file on your computer and you won't be able to put it in a media device. Now if something does go wrong with the download, don't worry, just reload the page and follow the prompts if you had issues downloading to give yourself a second try. If you seem to be having multiple problems, don't just keep clicking. Please contact your local agent. They'll be able to help you out. One last note on downloading the files is that it's very important that you download all of the copies of the files to your home computer or laptop in the first 120 days that you have the kit. After this time, the file won't be available anymore. It's just like with your physical kit. It's important that you would keep it and then back it up so that it doesn't get stolen or scratched or if something happens to it, you don't lose it. The great thing about digital is that once you've downloaded these files, you can back them up to an external hard drive or a cloud drive or a thumb drive or even burn them onto a data disk. So you never have to worry about losing the files if your computer crashes. Note here that there's several pages available to you for help and FAQ. So if you get lost, just click here and search for the question uh, that might help you download your kit successfully. All right. Let's take a look at how we find the files. Most computers are going to automatically download the files to what's called the My Downloads or Downloads folder. All right. If you have uh, a PC or a Mac, look for it here. And if you can't find it, don't worry. Click on the Start menu in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and simply take the name of the release that you're looking for. So I'm going to type Body Pump 89 and you'll notice that the files appear right away. Now we need to play these files. We recommend that you use iTunes to play the music and the video files, but it's not a requirement. You can use VLC Media Player or QuickTime as well. We don't recommend that you use Windows Media Player because you won't be able to access the great features of the disk like voices on or off or subtitles. If you double click the file, it will automatically play in the browser that it, in the uh, video f player that is the native video player to your computer. Right click the file and click open with so that you've got a choice of how your of how your computer opens the file. Or better yet, highlight all of the files and drag them into iTunes and it should copy all of your files into the movies section of iTunes. So you can notice here that all of the different files have started to import. Now how do we play the music and the choreography? All right. This comes down as a zip file. You want to double click the zip file to open it. All right. And then in order to get the files out, just highlight them all and drag them out. You can drag them into a different folder, or you can drag them onto the desktop, whatever is best for you. From here you can do the same thing. Drag your notes into iTunes. And then you can access them using the book tab in your iTunes. Notice that you can use the full color choreography booklet, or if you really feel like you need to print something, you can use the print friendly version, which is only a few pages and is designed to look good coming out of a normal printer. Last but not least, let's take a look at the music. Now that you've unzipped it, you can go into the music file, highlight all the tracks, and drag them into iTunes. Now if we go into iTunes and search for Body Pump 89, you'll notice that it starts to come right up. There we go. Just like that. 
Now, if you struggle with getting the files into iTunes, don't worry. There's a great tutorial on our YouTube channel on how to automatically add all the files to your iTunes in one fail swoop. So take a look out for that and call your agent if you can't find it. Now, what if you don't want to use iTunes? Well, that's no problem. We recommend that you use VLC Media Player, which is another great lightweight media player and also has an app for Android. So if you're a Google or Android user, that's a great app to use to play your files. Simply find the video file, right click, click Open With, and click VLC Media Player. The file opens right away, and you can use chapter selections. All right, this is the uh, education file. Let's go back in and uh, check out the master class file, the same. So open with VLC Media Player. All right, and you can see the different chapters. All right, we can choose voices on or off. All right, and we can even choose subtitles, English or French. If you don't want to use iTunes to look at the notes, you can always use Adobe. There's some great features in Adobe as well, like the ability to make notes on your notes. Oh, I'm magnifying instead of going forward. Or to use the table of contents to get to a specific track just by clicking. And there you have it. Now you can use the video, the music, and the notes on your home computer or laptop and you've got them into your media player. The next step is to get them synced to your mobile device and there's plenty of help on our YouTube channel if you need a little bit of extra help getting them onto your mobile device. Generally it's as easy as following the instructions that came with the particular mobile device that you have but do check out our YouTube channel because there's heaps of different video sessions there to help you out. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this session and enjoy your digital kits.